If you're bored of holiday locations and you want to go somewhere truly unique, you should think about checking out Japan. With a huge variety of strange objects and services, you'll most definitely come home with a whole host of new stories like never before. Today, we're showing you 10 unique things you'll only find in Japan. But before you book your trip, we'll show you lots of cool things straight from your screen. Before we start, click the subscribe button and you'll find all the unique videos you could want. Weird Vending Machines Sure, we can use vending machines anywhere in the world, but Japan most definitely has the largest variety of them. In what other country can you buy distressed underwear from a vending machine? Well, thinking about it, we don't know where else you could buy distressed underwear full stop. But that's a whole other story. But the vending machines in Japan are like nothing else, and that's the sheer scale of them as well as their variety. There's a vending machine near enough everywhere in Japan, so whether you're just going for a quick workout at the gym or you're heading out for a full day at the shops, you'll most likely come across a whole host of different machines. The National Tourism Organization estimates the country makes 62 billion a year from sales from the machines and thinks they have around 5.52 million in the entirety of the country. By now you're probably wondering what sort of weird and wacky machines there are, right? Some of our favorites include canned carrots and sauce, fake and don't worry not to scale battleships, camouflage watches, and more. We bet you could find everything you need in one of these machines somewhere in Japan. Full Length Umbrellas We've all been stuck in the rain more than once, either without an umbrella or with one that's definitely only suitable for the lies of bad weather. And once again, Japan is ahead of the game. We know they get bad weather, but rather than just sucking it up and getting wet like the rest of us, they've developed a foolproof answer, a full length umbrella. The perfect combination for when you need to leave the house, but you also don't really have many clean clothes. Unfortunately, we're joking for this last part, because all of the full length umbrellas we've seen so far are see-through. So you'll still have to find something to wear underneath if you're planning on leaving the house. Maybe if you're only intending on wearing your new umbrella suit around the house, you'll be fine. But then, you've got to admit, that kind of defeats the purpose. You might be surprised to hear that these umbrellas are only stocked in Japan, because we definitely get bad weather around the rest of the world too. Why can't they share? But maybe it's something that, for the time being, is just a little bit too quirky for the rest of Earth. So we'll just have to wait a few years until we realize that practicality can be fashionable after all. Bikini Jeans If the name of these doesn't put you off, then maybe the images will. We're not sure exactly who thought bikini jeans would be a good idea, but clearly someone did, because they're here and they exist. Well, they exist in Japan, although we're not sure how popular they are over there. We're pretty certain that they wouldn't be successful anywhere else in the world, and we're not sure what we would pair them with either. We're trying to think of what scenario we could find ourselves in when we would need a pair of bikini jeans. You can't, obviously, wear them for bikini bottoms because you'd get soaking wet. They're not even waterproof, if nothing else. But you'd struggle to wear them as actual jeans as well. Their low-rise design means you'd have a struggle keeping them up, and no one wants to spend all day walking around having to keep pulling your pants up every few seconds. That's definitely one way to slow you down, and because they're shaped like bikini bottoms, you wouldn't be able to attach a belt to them either. Maybe they're a success in Japan, but we don't think you'll catch us investing in a pair anytime soon. Strange Parking Lots If you can drive, you probably know the fear of having to park in a really tiny parking space. We try to find somewhere else, even at the risk of parking miles away, but sometimes it's just not possible. Sure, we'd rather walk a bit of an extra distance than squeeze ourselves and our cars into the smallest of spaces, but if it's a last resort, then you've just got to go for it. Well, be prepared to appreciate even the smallest of car parking spaces because Japan have taken the definition of small space to a whole new level. Because the country is so restricted for space, things are starting to be built upwards rather than next to each other. That's why we see so many skyscrapers in huge, skinny buildings. But the people of Japan decided that, although they needed somewhere to park their cars, they'd rather save any available space for other means, so they decided to start parking on top of each other. 
You heard that right. Japan's car parking spaces give you less than a meter between you and the other car on top of you, which means some incredibly careful reversing and a lot of wishful thinking. We're not sure which car parking space we'd rather take. If we were on the bottom, we'd be scared of the top one falling. But imagine trying to reverse out of the top space. No thanks. Toilet slippers. Depending on your culture, it might be very frowned upon to keep your shoes on inside the house. This is perfectly fine, and we can understand the logic behind it. If the weather hasn't been great, then we wouldn't want to bring all the rain and mud inside the house with us. But whether you keep your shoes on or off inside the house, we can usually rest assured that the inside of the house is clean. Okay, so maybe occasionally you'll spill something or you'll forget to sweep the floor. But the rest of the house is clean enough so that you don't dirty your feet. Well, apparently not in Japan. The Japanese take cleanliness very seriously, to the extent that the bathroom slippers are a thing. As the name would suggest, these shoes are only worn inside the bathroom and are taken off as soon as you step outside. Well, ideally, before you step outside. The idea is to keep any dirt that happens to be inside the bathroom in there, so you don't get it around the rest of the house. We're all bathroom trained, or at least <laughs> we like to think we are, so we're not really sure what sort of mess the Japanese are thinking they'll find in their bathrooms. But we guess it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Subway Chin Rest It's common to fall asleep on the subway. Most of us have done it once or twice and woken up at the end of the line with no idea where we are and what year we're in. But we often try our best not to fall asleep because, you know, it's not really that convenient. If we're really that tired, we'll do our best to get home before we take a nap, or we'll grab a coffee or energy drink to help us carry on with our days. But the Japanese are big fans of naps because they're a sign of working hard. It's not frowned upon to fall asleep at your desk, and in some companies, it's almost encouraged because it shows you're working your absolute hardest. As a result, when these poor workers are exhausted to their limit, they need to get home somehow. And falling asleep on the subway is the perfect opportunity to catch up on those necessary Zs before you can get home and get a proper rest. So the best way to ensure a comfortable nap? Install subway chin rest. These weird looking pieces of material are dotted around the subways at perfect chin height, allowing you to stand up and get some rest even if you can't get a seat. Now, not that we encourage getting so exhausted you fall asleep while moving, but if you have to do it, then this seems like a good solution. Baby Mops Now, we've already learned that the Japanese are really and truly focused on getting as much done in as short a period of time as possible. What other culture would install chin rest on the subway, after all? So why not try and use this productivity throughout the rest of their lives, too? And they didn't just stop at making sure the adults were productive. Oh no, they've made sure the kids are too. Most kids are hard working from a young age, but what about before they're old enough to help out around the house? And before they can really understand what you're saying? Is there a way that they can help out then? Sure there is. If your baby is crawling around all over the place and getting in the way, you can get them to help you with the household chores. Cleaning the windows and changing the sheets might be a step too advanced for the really young ones, but Japan's baby mops are the solution you've been waiting for. All you need to do is lay your young child down on the mop and let them carry on wandering around the house. Place them on a hard surface that needs a quick wash, and you're all set. Baby gets a new mop, can lie down comfortably, and you're getting the floors cleaned, too. Maybe we should all try and be more like Japan. The world's shortest escalator. But if you thought the Japanese had no time to waste just sitting around, then we're here today to show you one key example. This could either be an incredibly productive addition to the area or a really stupid one. We'll let you decide. So along with having any number of weird and wonderful things to help you complete your day, Japan is also home to the world's shortest escalator. At only 33 inches high and with five steps in total, we reckon it would be faster to jump than to wait for five steps to move down. Really, if they wanted to be truly useful, they could have just left it as it was and we could have just walked down it. 
As much as we agree with a lot of the Japanese ways of living, we're not sure how we feel about this one in particular. In case you're tempted to visit and see you can actually jump down these five steps, and we think it's pretty likely, then you'll have to take a trip to Moore's Department Store in the city of Kawasaki. If nothing else, we can guarantee it'll be quite underwhelming when you've taken all the time to get there in the first place. <laughs> Pillows for lonely people. You can get pillows in most shapes and sizes now. As different brands branch out and try to win over new target audiences, we see a bigger range of homeware than ever before. And Japan has, once again, beaten us to it with very strange inventions. Sure, they seem to be pretty on top of things in the world, and they're known for their great decisions and actions, so who are we to say that their ideas are unusual? Well, as much as usually we'd accept that, this one particular invention is a bit too strange to stomach. The Japanese have launched a lap pillow. The comfy shape doesn't exactly sit in your lap as such. Instead, you're taken back to your childhood where you probably used to put your head on your mother's lap to relax or to fall asleep. Most of us did it, and it was a perfect comfort at the end of the day. But, whereas most of us have snapped out of that stage now, Japan realizes that some people haven't. Which is why their lap-shaped pillow could be the perfect Christmas present for that lonely person in your life. We're joking. We think we'd be a bit offended if we got this as a present. So maybe just stick to a box of chocolates or some wine instead, for the time being. Capsule Hotels when we picture spending a night in a hotel, we usually imagine a huge, comfy bed, some nice toiletries, and a good night's sleep. Maybe you think of going for a long swim in the hotel's pool in the morning, or perhaps a posh breakfast complete with all your favorite foods. What you likely don't think of is Japan's capsule hotels, which are, as you would imagine, very small. They were launched around 30 years ago. Half as a fun niche to the hotel market, but also for people who drank too much and couldn't find their way home. The capsules are tiny and can usually fit one person at a push. Reportedly, some of the smaller capsules can only fit someone with a maximum height of 5 feet and 7 inches. So, if you're above that and fancy trying out the capsule hotel, then you might have to rethink your plans. Admittedly, they're popular with tourists because the country is expensive and you'll definitely save a few dollars sleeping in a capsule rather than a full-blown hotel room. But it also comes with the addition of a lot of other people around you and quite a bit of noise too. We know it's more expensive, but surely there must be even a tiny hotel room with more privacy than these, but without the huge costs attached? If this doesn't make you want to get to Japan straight away, then we're not sure what will. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks and goodbye.